Hello, my name is Sam Steele, and this is our audiovisual industry case study. After Full Sail, I plan to pursue my a career as a lighting technician, a console operator, or maybe even a master electrician. I plan to go on tour for a couple of years to pay off some of the loans that I've accumulated while studying here at Full Sail. And I also plan to continue my building my uh, personal network, which I believe is very important to the career. Some of the skills required for this industry are soldering, rig training, proficiency in vector works, and a knowledge of operations and repairs to conventional, conventional and intelligent lighting instruments. My plan after graduation is to try and work for uh, Glare Global and tour for a few years to financially stabilize myself after working for a few years in the industry, I plan to start my own design firm and tour and freelance tour. One of my industry icons is Oscar Dominguez, the lighting, the lighting designer for The Voice. He started off doing small jobs, and now he is the several he is this lighting design artist for several A-list comedians and other TV shows. Lighting design is my ultimate career goal. One of the statements that Oscar Dominguez said that intrigued me is he found it challenging to create fresh new lighting looks for the voice. I personally enjoy large challenges while working. I feel that my skill set could be very effective in overcoming those challenges. Kevin Lyman is also one of my industry icons. I think it would be really awesome to work on a music festival as someone who plans for it. Kevin Lyman is responsible for hiring the bands on the Warp Tour. If I were to work in the music festival, I would like to be a designer who decides how the stage should look and what the festival as a whole would look like. Here's a short video of one of my industry icons. A group like ACDC, you know, they have a very distinct personality. They're this simple, straightforward, blue collar rock and roll band. So how do you exaggerate that for a big audience? How do you reflect that? And how do you do it in a way that's not boring? that's interesting and has lots of stuff going on at the same time and that's the challenge so we made this kind of elegant but this wasted beaten up corrugated iron look and then from that we started to think about the lighting and how the lighting would fit in with this structure back in the day it was only park hands it was basically one type of light and now there's so many different types of moving heads with different beams washes gobos and this whole huge amount of things you can use but I still try to maintain some of that vintage look because it fits the band you know, they want to rock rig. I'm like a two colors per song. Some are obvious, like Highway to Hell, fire, um, amber, reds, and stuff like that. But like rosy is going to be pinks and lavenders and kind of girly colors because it's about a, a big girl. Some other potential careers in this industry are film and TV gaffer, responsible for designing a and designing a lighting plot to dis help the director achieve what they are envisioning. Designing plots are important to the designer, creating a document that everyone on the install team can follow. Music and mixing engineer. Mix engineers are the ones responsible for glue for the gluing for gluing the track together in order to create the final song by using effects and processing and plugins. Live event console operator. The console operator is the one responsible for triggering lights, cues, and maintaining the pieces of the gear in the lighting rig. These are just a few other opportunities that I will pursue after my career. Thank you.